All right, folks, welcome back. We had a positive reception to the first couple of episodes, and so we're back with another installment of Bellatro Basics. The videos are long, but there's a lot to learn, and the tips come at you fast. The first couple of episodes, we focused on sort of the early game and the mid game, and sort of getting your economy online, and then starting to figure out what to purchase once you have all of this money. Um, now I want to look at, you know, what does it look like to close? You know, how do we end the game? How do we, you know, beat that final boss? And maybe even before we jump into that, let's talk about a little bit, um, you know, deck selection we haven't talked about yet, or we, we talked about it before in the daily series, but you know, we'll assume that you haven't seen those. What I suggest for new ish players, not necessarily very new players, but you know, let's say you want to practice the game. I suggest playing on the yellow deck. I like the yellow deck as the starter deck. And so it says you start with $10. You actually, in the first round, you get interest on this $10. And so you start the first shop with $12 more than you would have before. And, you know, after two rounds, you can get up to the $25 and have your capped interest right away and just start the game with this passive five dollars extra income every round like that's huge huge head start and if you have a big head start you know that can snowball that can carry you um through you know the rest of the game or whatever it is another thing that you could do with this extra money instead of just saving it you could in the first shop you know buy more stuff right you can buy more different jokers it allows newer players to just experiment you know just try different things you don't know what you want to spend your money on so just spend your money on stuff different stuff and try it out figure it out figure it out for yourself what's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you that doesn't necessarily mean that i think the yellow deck is the easiest deck to win with i just think it's good for beginners and so you know if this economy getting your money online is a very important part of the game the yellow deck is going to make it easier to do that but once you're more comfortable with that, once you're more comfortable with getting through the early game, I actually like the blue deck as, you know, the next step up. You know, if we're comparing the red deck and the blue deck here, the difference, instead of having one extra discard, you have one extra hand, and you know by now, you can use a hand like a discard. If you run out of discards, you can just throw some garbage as a hand, and then that way you can redraw new cards. And so blue deck is almost always going to be you know more powerful than the red deck because that extra hand not only can you use that as a discard that extra hand could just be an extra dollar per round every round and so maybe you know similar to the yellow deck here yellow deck if you start with that extra money and you get the extra interest now you get an extra two to five dollars per round or whatever it is but you know once you reach your maxed out interest then this gives you an extra dollar on top of that five dollars interest or you know you could have different jokers that reward you for playing hands reward you for playing certain kinds of hands and so the extra extra hand is useful for that uh, a lot of benefits a lot of benefits to the blue deck now the actual easiest deck i think is the checker deck the only problem is you don't unlock the checker deck until after you've beaten black stake on at least one deck and so if you want to get here this is what i suggest okay the red stake is going to give you no small blind reward money and you know that's only a three dollars difference but that three dollars difference could be a big difference that could be you know what keeps you from buying the scoring jokers that you need to survive and so between these three decks maybe okay the yellow deck helps with this having the extra starting money instead of the small blind money then okay going up here to the green stake we've got the faster anti-scaling all of the scoring requirements are higher that's fine if you have more money you can buy more stuff and you can score more easily maybe and uh, finally we've got the black stake you got to beat the black stake in order to unlock the checker deck um, this has you know something to do with eternal jokers we'll talk about this we'll talk about we'll get to it eventually we'll go through um the low to medium stakes but if you want to 
to just get through this if you just want to unlock the decks I do suggest the yellow deck for that and then once you beat the black stick the one time then you don't have to worry about it then you can just play uh, on easy mode all right what I like about the checker deck and the abandoned deck for newer players um, obviously not you know in your first hour of play because you do have to unlock them but you know after you get to you know 20 30 hours you know you're not quite ready to take on the highest stakes you're not quite ready to take on the gold stake then what's really nice about the checker deck you know the deck construction is hard you know the deck construction is an important part of the game and you have to think about it a little bit the checker deck you start with 26 spades 26 hearts the deck is already built for you basically i mean there's room for improvement but you, it gives you a huge head start here and that is worth way more than whatever money that you get from the yellow deck and you know what i always say is you know the point of the game the point of the game is to play hands that score points and if you don't get your hands that's why you lose it doesn't matter what jokers you have if you don't get the hands then you lose and so the checker deck is going to help with that you can very easily from the beginning make flushes multiple flushes every round and then in the end you know transition into maybe uh, straight flushes or full uh, flush houses for those higher scoring flush variants I think the second easiest deck is the abandoned deck so the abandoned deck by having no face cards it has 12 less cards to start with it has only 40 cards and only 40 cards means after you use all of your discards after you use most of your hands you will see almost all of your deck and after you remove a couple more cards from your deck with maybe a hangman tarot card um, or an immolate spectral card then you get to see 100 percent of your deck and so as far as like finding the hands that you're looking for if you get to see 100 percent of your deck every hand every round you get to make whatever hand that you want you can get four of a kind every round you can make five of a kind with only five aces in your deck those sorts of things and so you know i think the no face cards makes it a little bit harder to get the first couple rounds and the first couple rounds getting the chips from the face cards matters but then you know once you get out of anti one once you get into round four and five and anti two then you have chips from planet cards you have other kind of scoring help from your jokers it doesn't matter that you don't have the face cards at the end of the day this is going to make you more consistent this is going to make it easier to get straights this is going to make it easier to get full houses and that sort of thing so if you can if you can go to the black stake unlock the checker deck as early as possible and then you know play around with that that's going to help you practice all right for us for this demonstration i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to play on the green stake um, I think it's just going to be a little bit harder. It's going to be a little bit more interesting than the white stake. And I'm going to play on the red deck, you know, again, kind of trying to capture, you know, what is the standard, uh, you know, starter experience. All right, in the first round here, uh, we're going to go for the classic. We're going to go for, the, we always say, you know, maybe a high straight or a high flush. If I have the two pair, it's not likely that I get the full house. If I have three of a kind, I have better chances of getting a full house, but with two pair, it's not going to happen. Um, if I try to go for a straight, you know, here, nine, eight, seven, a high enough straight in order to get 300 points, it has to be eight, nine, 10, jack, queen. Wait, eight, nine, 10, jack, queen. Yeah, it has to be at least eight high. So the seven doesn't really count. If I want to go for the straight, it's eight and higher so I'm just gonna discard all of these maybe you know I could go for the diamonds flush if I go for the diamonds flush these are not high enough diamonds I'm not gonna get 300 points so maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna throw all of these away and then that way I could go either a hearts flush with an ace or maybe go for a clubs flush even though I only have one club right now we could get more all right, so we did get more clubs, though these are the low clubs. We got, again, two pair here. And like I said, I don't like to go for the full house. 
um, because I only have the two more aces and the two more nines, there's only four possible outs. But if I discard like this, um, I have instead of four clubs looking for an extra club, if I get the extra club, it's not gonna score enough points. So if I discard like this, I can try to get the high hearts. Uh, that helps. Maybe one more time looking for hearts. Mm, now I have three nines. Do I want to try to go for a, you know, full house? All I need to do is get a high enough pair. So maybe like a pair of sixes or something like that or higher. So a pair of sevens, pair of eights, pair of queens, pair of aces. We've already thrown away some aces and a queen and thrown away eights and sevens. So, you know, maybe as far as like getting a pair, does this five, if I discard all of these, does that give me a good chance of getting a pair? A pair of jacks, pair of 10, pair of kings, pair of sixes. I think I have a better chance of getting the hearts. So for the hearts flush, I could get five or higher there's six possible hearts i'm going to draw four cards so i think that gives us a better chance than hitting the pair and then there's the hearts all right in the past what we've done we've said okay you can just ignore the first shot you could just skip the first shot you'll be fine you'll survive Though, you know, maybe for the purposes of this demonstration, we could ask the question, okay, what kinds of things in the first shop are we looking for? You know, obviously this times two mult doubling our score from the ramen here is very powerful in the end game, but is it the kind of thing that I want to pick up right now? Um, when we discard, it gets weaker, it gets smaller. So maybe it incentivizes us to not use our discards, but right now, you know, we need to use our discards to find flushes and straights and, you know, the scoring hands. So maybe actually instead, uh, this is what we want. Actually, just straight up. So the, the thing that we're looking for in the early shops is some source of plus molt specifically. And so Half Joker is going to check that box. Um, I think, you know, the next couple rounds here, this round we can win with two hands. The boss we can win with two and a half hands. We don't need this. But if we do, this helps a lot. And so you spend $5 on this, that $5 that would normally give you $1 of interest. Well, if I can use this to win in one hand instead of two hands, that's the same as having $5 in the bank. Mm, kind of. All right, so to get this to work, I mean, 20 molt is a lot, right? So as long as I get 20 chips, you know, so maybe if I play ace here, this is uh, 16 chips is not enough. As long as I get a pair. So like here, if I play the twos, does that work? 14, no, I need a better pair. So let's look for a better pair. Pair of bases, that is enough. This early on, that's enough. And you know, as far as like plus mult jokers go, um, Half Joker is huge. The plus 20 mold, that's insane. That's very powerful. Um, the thing that's tough about the Half Joker, like long term, is you get card enhancements and you get other kind of jokers that care about when you play certain cards. And so playing only three cards is very limiting. If you play more cards, you have more effects on each of those cards. And so playing only three cards really reduces us down to, you know, playing three of a kind at most, or maybe pairs. Early on, it's fine. If we have, you know, potentially another source of chips to go with this, then with only three cards not giving me very many chips, if I have chips from a joker, then that makes up for it. So that's the main thing that I'm looking for with a half joker is looking for a source of chips. All right, we do here have polychrome steven so you know normally very powerful right normally you can get plus 20 molt from steven by i don't know you would play a full house would be the way to do it if you wanted to get the plus 20 or maybe you could play two pair and get plus 16 from steven 
Um, you can play flushes and straights and then maybe get plus 12 from Steven. You know, if we go to the collection here, the sinful jokers are really easy, right? You can just play a flush with this suit and then that's plus 20 and then that's why the sinful jokers are five dollars steven is since it cares about rank really what you're looking at is playing full houses and full houses are going to be harder than getting flushes and so you know steven is probably easier with two pair that's why steven is only four bucks instead of five bucks um i think we i think we do take the steven um i think you know, between the two of these, short term, half joker is just easier. But I think long term, long term, there's powerful things that we can do with Steven. Something to keep in mind, Steven gives us scoring when the cards are scored individually. And so that's going to happen before steel cards. That's going to happen before glass cards. And then this plus molt from half joker or plus molt from any joker, that's going to happen after after all of those card enhancements and so oftentimes these jokers that give you molt when scored are going to be more synergistic more powerful long term so let's pick this up also it happens to be polychrome i guess um i would have loved to have this i would have, rather than playing full houses i would love to do two pair with steven is a little bit easier than playing full houses but we can't afford it Pretty sure right let's go next all right so for the boss now you know i could play two even cards is that enough points or still we need maybe a little bit more chips so how about this let's discard let's look for another 10. uh two jacks does two jacks do it two jacks is 30 times that should be plenty All right, so remember, you know, you don't need to go for the best hand. You don't need to go for the three of a kind. You don't need to go for the three even cards. Just figure out what is enough points. And maybe figuring out what is enough points is hard, but you know, that's what we want to try to do. Here, I think we want to save all of our money and then just keep collecting interest. We did spend a little bit on these jokers and you know typically what I like to do is play a little bit riskier play a little bit risky in the sense of don't buy anything and just get the money online first but if you want to play a little bit safer a little bit more consistent then you know it's perfectly reasonable it's fine to pick these up but you do need to recognize we do need to get the economy online eventually and so maybe I don't want to pick up the scholar and go for like three of a kind aces or something like that maybe i don't pick up this buffoon pack obviously buffoon packs a very good value you know you get to choose a joker for only four bucks is pretty good value but you know every dollar that we save right now is going to earn interest and then that interest is going to earn interest so it's worth it to get it online faster earlier to get a thousand points now on the white stake it's normally 800 points but then on the green stake it's going to be a little bit higher it's going to be a thousand and that's perfectly fine so we know with the two face cards we saw in the previous round that that was about 900 points or something like that so i know i need maybe some even cards to try to get the steven value so i'm going to discard like this so here's two tens. Two tens should be a thousand points. Thirteen hundred. So you know, rather than try to figure out, okay, well, how many chips is it times how many molt is it times one point five? Like, do you know what times one point five is? I don't usually. Well, you know, what I just try to figure out is, okay, well, you know, here was thirteen hundred points. So then in the next round, the fifteen hundred here. I need more than what I just did. I need more than a pair of tens. I need now maybe a triple or maybe I need some other scoring help from the shop. So something that I'm interested in picking up is some source of income other than just interest maybe. And so maybe something like this, mail-in rebate, discard, it'll change, but for now tens. So I will pick this up and then save the rest of my money for interest. 
this could be pretty good here. Top up tag, top up tag guarantees we get two jokers. And so I've said in the past, you know, maybe don't skip, probably don't skip like ever. You're not gonna get punished for not skipping. Though there are rare circumstances, there is sometimes it is worth it to skip and is it worth it this time? If we do skip our two common jokers, are those going to be enough to help us beat the boss? Or if the boss says play only one hand type this round, can we beat the boss even if we get you know, bad jokers from the top of tag? So that's, that's what you wanna consider. Two things to consider. First thing to consider is you know, how much value am I getting from playing versus how much value is this giving me? Is two random jokers worth more than money from hands, money from interest, money from reward money, and money from mail-in rebate? It's close, right? I think probably with the rebate now, if I didn't have the rebate, then the two random jokers would be worth more, but because I have the rebate, I think I can get six bucks from this. So I think you know, the money I get from playing is worth more. And then the other thing to consider is if I do skip, not just the money, not just is it worth it, but am I going to survive? Do I have enough material in order to score 2000 points right now? I think we don't do it. I think if this were small blind, I think if this were, you know, I didn't have the mailing rebate, then this is justifiable. But in the next couple shops, we're gonna replace these common jokers anyway. I'm gonna to try to get the rebate money. Okay, three sevens, even though they're not even cards, I do get more chips for the purpose of the half joker. I don't think that is 1500 points. I don't think so. Let's try it. Oh, well. I didn't get my rebate money. <laughs> uh, so I know for the boss, uh, maybe a pair. I think two pairs will do it or a pair and a triple will also do it. All right, this is kind of neat here. We have another source of income. Um, what I typically suggest, like I said, is um, about one scoring joker per ante. And so currently I think the half joker is like 1.5. It's a little bit better than an average um, I think this Steven is about one half if we're looking at, you know, only playing three cards, you know, getting the plus eight molt from Steven is maybe half a joker, but then the polychrome makes up for it. So maybe this is one and one and one half, right? Sorry, I said that in a confusing way. This is one and this is one and a half, two and a half scoring jokers. So we're good for scoring. Let's just go money. And I don't need this right now. For certain planet cards, you know, you might be interested in picking them up early. You know, maybe if I have a half joker and I wanna to commit to doing the half joker, maybe I take a three of a kind or something like that. Or maybe I take pairs. Or if I have Steven, maybe my long-term plan, maybe I wanna play two pairs is easier than full house. Do I? want to take full house and go for even full houses as like a long-term plan let's do that i think we can do that i don't think we can play a full house right now but i think as a long-term plan that's going to be worth it and then go next all right so here we again going to discard tens no problem let's dig like this. We only get to play one hand type this round, so I have to pick, and I think what I'm gonna pick is pairs. It's gonna be easier for me to play two pairs than it is for two, three of a kinds. So we'll discard the 10 here for the money and then look for some face cards to discard. All right, so I did get more tens to discard and I got some fours here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play the two fours and throw away a six. What I would like to do is draw another face card and then discard the tens with the face cards at the same time. So let's play this. This should not be 2000 points. Cool. 
Uh, okay, so we got the tens here. We got the face cards. We can discard all of these for the money. We know that a triple would be enough points, except we're not able to play a triple because we already played a double. So I'm looking for now probably a pair of eights. The pair of fours was not enough chips. The pair of eights is going to be worth more chips. Let's discard all of these nines. Looking for another eight. All right, so something to consider here. Do we... You know, one option is we just use the discard here, or we can use a hand as a discard and save our discards for the face cards. So I'm just going to play these, digging for more face cards. There we go. So I have all these face cards I can discard. Um, I am still looking for the eight. So maybe I'll discard the five looking for the eight. There, play two eights, and if you want, we can throw away an ace. <laughs> That's so rude. I guess I shouldn't have played the fours, huh? The fours were worth two little points. All right, here's another pair. All right, so as far as pairs goes, we, we know a uh, pair of fours is 800, pair of eights is uh, a little bit more than a thousand. So what do we want to do? We really want to be not playing pairs anymore. So we have all this money. This is unprecedented. This is un unprecedented start here. We get so much money from these. We got the extra discard value from the red deck. Now we can do whatever we want. And what I want to do is pick up a third scoring joker. Do I want this rough gem first? Do I want this to-do list? Let's go celestial pack first. What I'm looking for is earth is my long-term plan. Maybe my short-term plan is two pair would be pretty good with Steven. And I'm trying to replace the half joker. So here's two pair. Short term, remember the planet cards, they give us extra chips. We have plenty of molt coming from Steven. We just want sources of chips. And so the two pair here leveled up is pretty good. Let's, do I want either of these? Do I want to play a flush for five bucks or play some diamonds? I think we reroll here. All right, Mercury is fine maybe let's do this maybe let me take the business card mm, wait business card is bad with faces joker maybe i shouldn't have taken that uh no that's just we shouldn't have taken that <laughs> i mean we got the money but we shouldn't have done that uh i forgot we got the faces joker all right let's go next All right, I want to discard sixes. I want to, if I can, play a full house. A full house will get me 3,000 points. So maybe let's do something like this. Okay, so we got the full house. Um, if I play it, I think that's enough. Mm, it's a little bit lower full house, right? Because I have fours and twos, but maybe I have high enough chips from this leveled up already. Let's, I think I can find another pair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna discard here and try to get more, I'm gonna greed. I'm gonna go for more face cards and more sixes. Oh, we got the face cards. We got some sixes. And we got a better full house. We have tens and fours for more chips. All right, tens and fours, ship it. All right, so for a high-ish full house with just the even Steven, we have enough points. Um, or we had enough points there. In the next round, we need 4,800, so we're gonna need another scoring joker. So this is, this is the power of even Steven. If you can get it online, if you can get the full house, which is not easy, but maybe easier with a red deck. 
And then also we have the leveled up full house, you know, demonstrating the power of the planet cards, even though half Joker didn't do anything there. Um, I do want the Hierophant. I do want the bonus cards here. We have money. And so, you know, I want to try to spend as much money as I can before re-rolling. So I want to buy this Arcana pack. What are we trying to do? We're trying to play even full houses, right? So maybe we'll go these fours as bonus cards. Do we, all right, Magician, you know, you do have the chance of getting Molt. I don't really think about it like that. I think, you know, most of the time you know whether or not you need the Molt and you don't need the Molt. Most of the time I think of this as you have a small chance to get a lot of money. And so on average gives you a dollar every time you play the card. And so maybe if I put it on a six, I get a dollar once in a while on average, or actually what happens is you hit the $20. Uh, I think gold cards are gonna be better, generally speaking. And so what kind of card might I want to be gold? Maybe a six here. Some consideration for taking the planets and then leveling up our scoring. I think we have enough money, we can reroll and we can find jokers for scoring. We don't need the planets yet. I'd rather have the more economy, more money. So let's put it on a six. So I've said this uh, in the past. What card do we put gold on? So I don't want to put it on a face card because face cards I'm trying to discard. Like that's the plan with the face cards. Do I want to put it on a seven and then I'm playing the even cards. I'm holding on to the seven. Or what I personally suggest is let's put it on the six. Because I have even Steven, I have a reason to hold on to the six. This does not take up a spot in my hand if I turn it into gold because I'm already holding on to my even cards. I'm already holding on to the six. Whereas the seven, if I turn it into a gold card and I draw it and I like, okay, well, I want to hold on to my gold card, that's not contributing anything to my ability to play hands. So let's make the six into gold. This is, by the way, this is the, the way that people go wrong with the gold cards is if you're trying to hold a card that doesn't get played, then your hand size is smaller and you're crippling yourself and you're causing yourself to not draw the stuff that you need. All right, uh, standard pack I could use as a way of getting more even cards. I think that's not generally what I'm interested in doing, but because I have access to so, money, so much money, I will. Or maybe I get something like this that's got a red seal and it's foil and it's a bonus card. So obviously we got to take that. And now it's easier to get, maybe we'll try a full houses with eights. This telescope right now where we've done a lot of pairs, sorry, we've done a lot of pairs. And so it'll just give me, you know, mercury cards. So I don't want to buy this yet. I think the telescope is powerful enough. The way that I think about the telescope is you have a one in three chance that a celestial pack will have the card that you're looking for. If you have a telescope, it makes it a guarantee, right? So your celestial packs are three times as powerful. Um, so a celestial pack that would be normally worth four dollars is now worth twelve dollars you know if it's three times as powerful it's worth three times as much to me so I, long term i do want this but short term maybe not yet all right i'm definitely done with the half joker now i think you know maybe we're doing full houses so do i want you know some source of chips has a little bit of conflict here i can't do face cards at the same time as even cards maybe what we do is we pick up stencil here stencil acting as a times two uh you know you know some people get really excited about the stencil if you know if i have empty joker slots it does times two and times three is very powerful however you know currently this is use two joker slots to get times two that's the same as having two separate times 1.5 jokers. Not exactly times 1.5 is, you know, if you have two of them, it's times 2.25, but it's close enough to two. And so this is equivalent to having like two polychrome jokers. And so you could do better than this. 
um, and most of the time you will replace this but short term it is very efficient it is just the one joker right so i am going to go next saving my money for interest here the skip here is three of a kind three of a kind is not bad three of a kind is not bad with steven three even cards though you know the difference between playing three even cards versus playing five even cards for the full house like this is the problem with the half joker is if you play more cards you get more value from even steven you get more value from other kind of jokers that care about playing suits and ranks and stuff like that unfortunately the boss says you know we're gonna lose one dollar per card played and so maybe you know if we get the upgrade here we play fewer cards and therefore we lose less money but if i take the skip here do we have enough scoring power do we have enough points to beat this 6400 i think we do right we just hit 4000 with that full house and then now with the times two from the stencil we can hit 6000 easily i'm not going to take this i'm not trying to do three of a kind all right the rebate says discard the twos okay Maybe discard something like this, or since I have the tens, I'm gonna discard the four and then just look for the three tens. This is a little bit greedy. If I'm discarding eight and four and two for the purposes of making a full house with even cards, that's gonna be harder, but I still have the sixes that I could draw. So I think I feel safe enough that I could do it. All right, I did get the tens. And so now I'm just looking for another different pair. Really what I'm doing is I'm looking for my face cards. Maybe that's a little bit greedy, trying to hold on to these tens and also look for face cards. I think it'll be fine. All right, so we got the jack there. Let's discard one more time for another face card. All right, I think what I wanna do I think we can still get there. I think what we can do is we can use some extra hands to dig. And then when we eventually do hit the face cards, we'll get more money that way. Or do we just throw away the two here and then just take the rebate money? That's the safer thing to do. So maybe, you know, I'll demonstrate what the safer thing to do is. Let's discard the two and look for a six. All right, so we did get a six, but we got the gold six. I think with the help of the stencil, I think this is enough points. And if this is enough points, I can collect the gold here. Nice. And then, so now I know, you know, in the future, if I play a full house that only has three even cards instead of five even cards, I have 6,000 points that could be enough to beat the boss. All right, now I will be taking the telescope. Before I take the telescope, I'm gonna open the celestial pack first because I'm trying to hit full houses or maybe two pair as a backup. So here's that two pair as a backup. Uh, I will, this is the big blind, so I don't have a future opportunity to pick up the telescope. So let's take it here. Standard pack, I would accept more eights because I have the fancy eight and then maybe I can build around eights for my full houses. Otherwise, I'm probably most things I'm not gonna take. So for example, you know, I don't need another gold card. I don't need another two. Generally speaking, we wanna not add cards to the deck because it just makes it harder to find the cards that we're looking for. I think it's still worth it. I think it's still worth it to look in the standard pack just because we have the money. Um, I don't need lovers. Question is, do we want to reroll here? So, you know, we want to make sure that we don't go below $25 because the $25 is where the interest is capped and we get $5 per round. But we do have this money here, Faces Joker and the mail-in rebate. And if we go below 25, then these can take us back above 25. 
So I think we reroll, and I think if we're gonna reroll, I think we buy the credit card, buys for one, sells for one. And so there's no reason not to. We can get here, seeing double as another source of X multi. So now I don't need this stencil. There's my times two, and it doesn't take up two joker slots, it only takes up one joker slot. Do I want this golden ticket? I have the one golden six, and so playing it versus holding it in hand right now is not gonna do the thing, but maybe in the future could be worthwhile. Maybe something that I'm thinking about, okay, I'm in anti three, and in anti three, I suggest you have three scoring jokers. And so we've got Steven that's kind of pulling, uh, you know, 1.5 scoring jokers. This times two is pretty powerful. You know, honestly, it's better than just one. Maybe this is one and a half scoring jokers, these two together, three scoring jokers. But then going into the next round after the boss, anti four, anti four is 9,000 points. And maybe you know, I want to have some more scoring help than that. Maybe I want to replace some of my money generators. If I pick up the golden ticket here, I'm going to replace it, right? I'm going to replace it with some scoring. So I think we just go next. Nice. So we got all these face cards. We also get paid for aces. So let's discard like this. Get the money. All right, another three face cards. And then discard the odd ones. All right, now I have fours and I have tens. Plenty of tens, plenty of twos left. I'm gonna ditch the four. I'm going to be a little bit greedy here. I'm going to go for an extra face card. Hmm. So here's that situation. Like I said, we have the sixes. So when I discard here, I have a reason to hold this six. If this were a seven, it'd be awkward, right? I don't want to hold the seven. I want to hold the six. So let's discard. Mm, we didn't get the full house, but we do have two pair. And so, like I said, we have the backup two pair and we do get the times two from the seeing double. And so maybe I don't need the full house. I can just play the two pair. We do have the red seal, the retrigger eight. So I think this should be good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Plenty of points. All right, strength is huge for us. So, all right, we should talk about deck construction, right? How do we want to be modifying our deck? Um, I said with the standard packs, I said I'm interested in getting more eights. I already have a few eight. I have an, one extra eight, let's get more eights. That's gonna help make it easier for us to get full houses if we have extra eights. If I pick up this strength card, I can use strength to turn maybe sevens into more eights, or generally I can turn odd cards into even cards. So that's huge, that's perfect for us, exactly what we're looking for. I want the celestial pack will give me pair still, is my most played hand, is a little bit unfortunate. But it is a jumbo, so we do get to see five cards. Remember we have the telescope. Telesco telescope will give us our most played hand. So, you know, something that I like to do, something that I like to think about, you don't get any duplicate tarot cards, you don't get any duplicate planet cards. So if I re-roll the shop and find a planet card, that'll block duplicates from spawning in the Celestial Pack. So let's do that. Let's also think about, do I want this Vagabond? You know, Vagabond, obviously very powerful combo with the credit card here, go $20 in debt. And so that's below $3 and you can, you can play around. There's a lot of room to play around there. I think for this run, for this demonstration, um, I'm not gonna do that. What I wanna do is I wanna demonstrate, you know, what does kind of normal deck construction look like? 
if we take the Vagabond, it's going to be silly deck construction, right? We're going to have so many tarot cards. We're going to be able to make our deck whatever we want it to be. I'm going to pass on this. But obviously acknowledging this powerful combo. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the order. Order is going to give us times three on straights. Do we want to start playing straights? Because we only have one level upgrade on the full house. And so, you know, we're not necessarily too attached to full houses. We could theoretically, we could play straights. And if we do play straights, the reward is huge. You know, we get the times three for straights. And if we wanted to, we could play some even straights. You know, we can play straights that have three even cards for Steven or, you know, Steven is replaceable, right? Even though it's polychrome, it could be something else easily. So maybe now is a fine time to pivot. I think generally it's gonna be easier to just pass on this. I think we can replace this with other stuff. Like I acknowledge it's a rare Joker, but I think we have access to enough resources. We can find other X Molt, we can find better X Molt. So rather than pivot here into straights, um, I think we're pretty good to keep going with the, the full house plan. I will reroll one more time. Okay, now I will go uh, Jumbo Celestial Pack here. So Pluto here, there won't be Pluto in here. No duplicates. Um, I don't see two pair, I don't see full houses. We could take the Saturn here and then be sad that we passed up the order, but really it's not that big a deal. Um, I can take three of a kind maybe. All right, uh, I will also pick up this standard pack looking for eights. Do we want a three odd card? It is also a holographic card and it's a bonus card. And so that has some relevance, even though it's not an even card. I think I really got to, you know, enforce this idea of, you know, let's not add cards to the deck unless they're, you know, very, very useful. And this is on the... This is on the fence. This could be useful. I mean, obviously we're holding a strength card and we can turn the three into a four, but we already have threes that we can turn into fours. We don't need to be using the strength card on this three. I think we skip here and then go next. It's also, it's fine that we go down to $20 here instead of $25 because we have these rebate and faces joker giving us money. Go next, 9,000 here. If we hit the full house, because we have the times two from seeing double, I think we can hit 9,000. So we'll go in. Looking ahead at the boss, boss is gonna give us, you know, discard random cards when we play a hand. What we wanna be thinking about is, can we win in one hand? Because, you know, once you run out of discards, then this really makes it hard to dig for better hands. All right, let's go next. I can turn my nines into tens right away. I can try to turn sevens into eights. Rebate wants me to discard queens. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna discard the nines and look for sevens since I already have the eights. All right, I wanna keep looking for more face cards. I wanna look for queens, right? So now I have these sevens, these sevens that could become eights. Do I, is it too greedy to do this? No, I think I have plenty. With the strength card, I think I can easily make a full house on demand. And so I'm gonna discard like this. All right, so we got eight here, we got some fives here. I didn't get the queen. Hmm. I think now I'm gonna play it uh, at least a little bit safe. 
So let's discard looking for more even cards like this. All right, so we got some twos here. If I want to go twos and eights, maybe I'll discard like this looking for my fancy eight. All right, so here sevens into eight. These with the twos, I don't think this is 9,000 points. I think last time we had the benefit of the extra chips from the eight. Give this a try. Yeah, only 7,000 points. That's perfectly fine. We do have a triple here. Um, I'm going to play the full house for the purposes of the telescope voucher. The red seal foil card really does make a world of difference. And we didn't get the money. We didn't get the queens. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Um, like I said, I am looking for some kind of extra scoring helper. So, you know, definitely I can do these two rounds in two hands each. Maybe what I'm looking for will go buffoon pack. You know, rather than these things here. I've got four jokers to choose from. All right, uh, we could go X Molt from the Bloodstone. We can go. None of this stuff is super exciting, but I definitely don't need the credit card either, right? So maybe we'll get the extra chips from the Wily Joker. We've got Molt here from Steven. We got chips from the Wily Joker. Uh, something to think about, you know, all my chips from my cards put together is probably around 100 chips. And so if I add the Wily Joker 100 on top of 100, that's the same as a times two Joker. Do we want to take this Celestial pack even though, you know, we're a little bit lower on the money here? I think we can. I said that last time and we got punished for it, but I think we can. Um, we do have these generating money for us. There we go. With the full house upgrade and the Wily Joker, so now, you know, a hand that used to be 8,000 points is now twice as much, is now 16,000 points, should be. So let's go next. And let's try to get the dang money this time. So one, two, three, and we can discard the odd cards. We can go... The twos we don't need, probably. So maybe something like this. Um, I want to find threes to discard. Okay, we got a bunch of eights here. We don't need that many eights. Uh, I do have more. Eight. I'm going to do this. Um, looking for another face card. Plenty of eights left. All right, all of these face cards we can discard for the money. And like I said, plenty of eights left. Uh, we don't get the times two from the scene double because we don't have clubs. We didn't get the eight of clubs or the ten of clubs. I think that's a okay. So if this doesn't win, I don't think it'll win. And if this doesn't win, well, we did pick up the Wily Joker, right? We said the Wily Joker was kind of like a times two. And then we do have the bonus chips from the red seal here. Um, I think we'll be fine. If it doesn't win, then we would have needed to dig anyway. We needed to play a second hand anyway. Okay. Boss is still 18,000, right? Empress extra molt cards is fine. Uh, Smear Joker. Smear Joker does help with the seeing double, though maybe it is not essential. What's nice about the Smear Joker, Smear Joker can do, you know, one thing that it does is it makes it easier to get flushes and straight flushes, like you know that. The real power of the Smear Joker, the reason why it's a $7 Joker is because, you know, you have these Jokers, the, you know, we just saw the Bloodstone, um, or, you know, these uncommon Jokers, these are very powerful. This gives us plus eight molt for every club, up to 40 molt for the one Joker card. Um, or you know here up to 250 chips. So having the smear joker means you can do both um, You can more easily mix and match But you know for what we're doing here, I think just hitting the club is not that hard to do 
Uh, I will take the standard packs here, looking for more eights. Those are not eights, though. Now this is different. It's a four. It's an even card, and it's clubs. Maybe that's going to be our full houses. We already have some enhanced fours. Now I'm into it because it has synergy with seeing double. Standard pack again. Okay, this stuff, you know, just an even six. That's not good enough. And we do take the blank voucher. Blank voucher has the chance to give us the upgraded voucher in the future. So we'll go next. All right, so we want to be a little bit careful about, you know, this discarding action here. You won't want to be careful about can we get our full house? I think so. What's this say? Rebate wants me to discard eights? Mm, probably not going to discard eights. Probably not. Mm. No, I think I'm going to keep the eights just to play it safe. This, bo this boss is kind of rude. All right. Um, I do have the full house here um, and it is going to be worth enough points. So what used to be an 8,000 point full house is doubled because of Wily Joker and then doubled again because of seeing double. Is that how it works? Or wait, or is that 8,000 points counting seeing double? Let's do this. Let's take these eights and upgrade them. I could you know potentially discard looking for better stuff or looking for you know trying to get more money from my jokers here but if this doesn't work i want to have my leftover discards to help me dig for a second hand so i'm just to play it safe let's just run it out Twenty-four thousand. nice all right, so I know in the next round it's something like 25,000, right? Uh, anti 5 is another 18,000. Okay, so we can hit 18,000, no problem. All right, I do want something like this, extra hand size. I do want the Emperor. So, you know, there's 22 different tarot cards. Most of the time you just sell them for a dollar, but there's a few that are worth a lot of dollars, and so the Emperor is always worth it. You know, for example, you get the Hermit, like this. Um, I want to, let's see here. For the purposes of the telescope, now my most played hand is Full House. Now I'm guaranteed to get an Earth card here. So what I want to do is, I'm going to use these first. And then I'm going to pick up the Earth card here. And that's because in the future, there's a chance I could get a fool card. And if I get a fool card, I want the fool to copy. Would I rather have 20 bucks or would I rather have an upgraded earth, upgraded full house? I'd rather have the earth card. I'd rather have, you know, what do I use the money for anyway? I use it for re-rolling at a chance of increasing my score as opposed to, uh, you know, the full house there guaranteed upgrading my score. I can pick up the paintbrush here. I can look for an eight of clubs would be best. This stuff we skip. And we can reroll one time. All right, my scoring needs are satisfied. You know, between the jokers that I have, actually I have the level four flush house. I can keep going with what I have and trying to make money. Hearts debuffed. Probably not going to be a problem, though it does debuff our 8 here, is a little bit sad. Alright, if I want to, there's a full house. Um, I want to discard 4s. Let's discard these, looking for more face cards to discard. There are some face cards, there's a 4 that I can discard. Um, between the 10 and the 2, I'm going to discard the 2. So I have a four, I have a bunch of eights. Let's do this. These, I wanna discard the four, so discard like this. Okay, I have eights and sixes. So if I want, I could discard like this. 
Uh, I don't have the clubs yet, so maybe I discard all of these. Mm, okay. So here's one, two, three, four, five. I don't have the benefits of the seeing double. I don't know if this is 18,000. I do have the upgraded full house, so that helps. And I do have all of the enhanced cards. Cool. Gold card pays for itself. Do we want diamonds? You know, if the boss is going to debuff our hearts, maybe what we do is we turn this fancy eight into diamonds, maybe? Standard packs looking for eights. Uh, two of clubs. I already added a four of clubs to the deck. I think my, you know, if you're going to go for full houses, just pick. Pick what your two ranks are going to be and go all in on those. And so I'm all in on eights and fours. So I don't need this two, even though it's got a blue seal on it. Mega standard pack. I don't need this five. I could pick up an extra eight. I think is good enough and then pass on everything else. Reroll one more time. Uranus. I think we've evolved past Uranus. I think we don't need that. Now that we've got, we can pretty consistently hit the full house. All right, Rebate wants us to discard twos. I'm gonna start by discarding the face cards. All right, so we got the fours and the eights already. Pretty early. Let's discard like this. I'm trying to find, what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find twos for the rebate. Sure. Yeah, okay. So here are eights and fours. Let's just turn them into, yeah, let's just make them diamonds. We can discard like this. Maybe I can try to find my gold card. Discard like this. All right, so here are my eights. And I do get the seeing double here. What do I wanna make into gold? So previously I did a gold six. Let's go gold 10. I might be interested in holding in hand. All right, so regular full house without the fancy eight is going to be 28,000 points. So for the boss here, we need a little bit more than that. Sock and busking retriggering face cards is not what we're doing. Let's go spectral pack since we have the money. All right, with the spectral pack, what we could do, we can... Mm, negative joker generally speaking i do not recommend do not recommend so you know the the point is to be able to draw your hands and get your hands and then score with your hands and if you get the minus one hand size it's going to be harder for you to find what you're looking for we do have we did take the voucher that gives us plus one hand size so it kind of balances itself out I think, you know, especially if you're playing on the low stakes, especially if you're struggling to win in the first place, getting the jokers, getting the scoring is not what you need. That's not what's ending your runs. What's ending your runs is your deck construction is bad. you are got the minus one hand size. It's hard for you to find the full house and then you don't win because you didn't find the full house. So we don't take ectoplasm here. We take aura instead. It's a small bonus, but it could grow into a big bonus. And so maybe let's go eight of spades. Is polychrome now? I did say it could be a big bonus. <laughs> All right, let's go jumbo arcana. Before I open the jumbo arcana pack, I'm going to re-roll looking for tarot cards because if I get a tarot card, I can use it in the arcana pack. Um, okay, I don't need this. I will open it now. Saving my money above the interest here. All right. Do I want to use death to make a copy? Probably. 
what am I willing to get rid of? What am I interested in getting rid of? Or do I want to use Emperor for random tarot cards? So the thing about the Emperor is it will give me something that's not an Emperor. It'll give me something that's not these four, right? If there's no repeats. The thing that I want most is probably strength. Probably what I want is another death card, but I can't get another death card. I would really like to make copies of my fancy eights. Um, getting clubs, getting the moon would be useful. You know, for the purpose of making extra clubs for the seeing double. I think I'm going to copy the gold card. It does have, you know, it makes it easier for us to get our full houses. It could give us money. I think we don't need the two. I think I like keeping the face cards for the rebate or for the faceless joker. Maybe that's a little bit greedy, but maybe that's okay to be a little bit greedy. I do, let's see here. Yeah, let's go extra 10. All right, go next. So face cards, discard, nines, discard. It wants me to discard threes. So if I want, you know, maybe I could do like this. Um, nines, fives, my three is debuffed. That's a little bit sad. So maybe I'll discard like this. Nine, seven. Okay, we got the fours, you know, for the purpose of making a full house. Um, I think I, since I didn't pick up any scoring help, any scoring jokers, I think I need two hands. So I'm going to try not to be greedy and try to play two hands here, two full houses. So here, fours, saving the clubs in case I need to use another four, and then playing the eights here. All right, there we go. So we've got the fancy eights. Um, all I need to do is hit another four, or maybe it's easier for me to hit the six. So again, here's that situation where we've got the gold card. I have a reason to hold on to it. Instead of if this were a gold seven, I'd be ruined. All right, do we, is there a universe in which we play the four of a kind or the three of a kind? I think it's worth two little points. It's not worth enough points. So let's keep going. We have four tens left and we have three sixes left. And so maybe it's better for us to go for the sixes. It's better for us to just choose ones. We gotta choose tens or sixes. There are more tens, but the six is already clubs. We know if we play the full house that has clubs, it's worth, you know, 27,000, but we don't need 27,000. We just need 9,000. So if I throw away the six, I have a better chance of hitting the 10. Uh, maybe we just get both. Maybe we just get everything. There we go. There's the full house. Oh, by the way, you want to put the polychrome card on the right because the polychrome card, of course, gives you the X mult you want on the right. Um, but there, it didn't matter. And like I said, you know, taking the uh, the blank voucher, we do get the antimatter here with the extra Joker slot. All right, anti six uh, constellation is perfect. Constellation is going to give us X mult. Also, it's scaling, so it's not going to do anything right now. But maybe we're kind of okay right now. We're kind of okay playing two full houses right now. But since we have the telescope, we're guaranteed to get Earth card here and another Earth card. Maybe, you know, we can even take Uranus here and we'll go Earth card second. In case we get a Fool card, we can copy the Fool house. Um, I think that's it. And now, since we have the leveled up Fool house, we got the Planet cards. We also have the X Molt coming from the Constellation. It's not much yet, but it's going to get bigger. Basically, I think we're done. I think we can beat the final boss. I think we can get the 100,000 points, even with these scoring jokers. I don't need to replace them if I don't want to. So 
Sorry, what was the boss again? Diamonds debuffed. Dang it, I just went out of my way to make diamonds. That's okay. As long as my, you know, fancy eight is not diamonds. So, okay, I got this stuff here. Let's discard looking for more face cards. Let's try to be greedy here. So here's queens and uh, I don't need this many eights. So maybe I'll throw like this. Got the face cards again. So discard like this. All right, we got the tens. So we can throw away the ace for the rebate. Do I wanna to try to hit not a six, but do I wanna to try to hit a four here? Yeah, if I hit a four, I get to keep all of this money from the tens. Nice. Obviously that's not gonna happen that easily every time, but you know, I am happy to see it. Again, demonstrating the power of having the gold cards on the tens. You know, I have a reason to hold on to the tens as a backup in case I need to play the full house. All right, this stuff I don't need anymore. Celestial pack guaranteed earth. And now we're looking for a full card, full card from the Arcana pack. Or we get a legendary joker, I guess. All right, what do you think? Probably, probably the faceless joker is more powerful. Rebates a little bit easier. Um, so I'm gonna keep the faceless joker and pick up the soul here. <laughs> Sad. Sad. All right, we have money. So let's reroll. Ancient Joker could be okay. It could be okay because, you know, if we're playing the full house, we can probably fit in random, you know, suits in there. Like we could probably fit in random diamonds if this wants diamonds. I think we could do better than this though. I, I definitely don't think we need it, right? We definitely already have enough to win, so we don't need this. Also, I think we could do better. This is best when you're playing flushes and you have even suits in your deck. And so whatever suit it says, just go dig for that suit and make a flush and get five of them. And then it changes every time. Okay, we'll just have even suits in your deck. All right, here we can afford to keep re-rolling if we want. Uh, we could take the planet card. Right, we have the constellation here, so we have a benefit from, you know, any planet cards are gonna level up the constellation. So, you know, something to keep in mind about the constellation, it is very exciting for us to get the X Molt and it's the scaling X Molt. The same rules apply as with the ride the bus and square joker and that sort of stuff where don't go super hard too early. Don't spend money that you don't have. If you have the money, if you're above the interest cap, then you can buy the planet cards, then you can level up your constellation. Maybe with that in mind, maybe don't reroll as much. That way you always have extra money in case planet cards do show up. Um, here also, as long as I hold on to this Venus card, it'll block duplicate Venus from spawning and so you know, rather than use it right away, I don't actually need the scoring. I'm just gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna hold on to it, and then it makes it easier for me to find more Earth cards. And then go next. All right, so here we could discard the face cards. We could discard the odd cards. Very easy. We can, we already have the full house if we want it. Sure. I'm not gonna be greedy. This time, this time I'm not gonna be greedy. So here's the full house and it wins. So only 50,000 for that, you know, generic full house there. And so we know for the boss, maybe we want a little bit more. 
So here again, another planet card blocking duplicates. Let's, before I open these booster packs, let's reroll again. So now Pluto, Venus, Neptune, I guess we already have the telescope, so we know this is gonna have Earth in it, guaranteed. All right, I want to pick up planets to level up the constellation. I am gonna check this Arcana pack, see if it gives me full house. We do get a fool. So, you know, a little bit awkward here. I was thinking about this, but I wasn't thinking about it early enough. So what we should have done is, the Celestial pack is guaranteed to give me full house. So I'm supposed to use a planet first, then, go Celestial Pack, Celestial Pack gives me Earth, then Arcana Pack has a chance of giving me the Fool. And if it gives me the Fool, then I have an empty slot here. What I have to do now is I have to sell in order to make room, which is awkward, but we gotta do it. And so maybe now what I'll do is I'll use this Pluto card and then use the Earth card after. Maybe re-roll one more time. Uh, I'm not gonna re-roll. Go next. All right, now let's just discard the odd cards looking for, uh, I guess eights and fours or eights and tens. These three face cards, the Jack doesn't count for the faceless Joker because it's debuffed, which is a little bit sad. I am going to discard these because I already have the four. Now we can discard face cards. And this is already, I have the eights and the fours. Show me gold cards. All right, so we got eights and we got fours here. Let's go ahead and play the full house. So we did get two Earth cards, and so I know, you know, we got way more points than before. Alright, uh, we could take a Pluto card, we could take a Buffoon pack. You know, now we just kind of have the money. I think Acrobat is a little bit of a trap. <laughs> so Acrobat, of course, only going to give you scoring on your final hand. That means you have to use all of your hands in between. And if you're using all of those hands, you're using a lot of extra money. Each hand is money. And so while times three is very powerful scoring, it may not always be worth the money. I think in the late game and the end game, if we're talking about anti seven and eight, then yeah, go for it. Go for the acrobat, go for the times three. Um, in the early game, if we're in you know, anti's three, four, five, six, Probably you don't do this, or you can take it knowing that you're going to use it later in the end game, but then in the mid game, don't activate it. Just play normally, just win with the first hand instead of the last hand. I think that's totally viable. I think uh, maybe the nine is less money than the faceless joker would give us, probably. So I guess we skip here. Mm, yeah. All right, star, we don't need standard pack looking for an eight. Not those. All right, do we want the tarot merchant? So tarot merchant is gonna make us have more tarot cards in the shop. I think I don't want this for two reasons. One, I think we could do better joker wise. I think, you know, we could replace the wily joker. We could replace the faces joker. We could probably replace York. I don't know if we'll get 15 discards in the next three rounds. Um, also in the shop, I'm looking for the planet cards for the constellation. So we don't take the tarot merchant. We can take the Saturn card just for the sake of leveling up the constellation and then go next. All right, the boss is gonna de-level our poker hand. I think we just gotta accept. I think we just gotta suck it up. The um, full house is gonna be high enough level, so it's not gonna kill us. It's just gonna be a little bit annoying. 
All right, we got eights and we got sixes. So if I want, I can throw away all this stuff. Or maybe if you want, we could discard looking for a four instead of a six. That way we could get the gold money. Uh, we got the eight here. Let's look for another four. All right, we got the four. So plenty of points. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of points in hand right now. Here's eights and fours. Maybe we'll play a little bit fancy four here. All right, uh, very consistently scoring 100,000 even without too many fancy cards. For the boss here, uh, we can do this as long as we get, you know, maybe a few more planet levels or maybe we constellation a little bit higher. We could fortune teller, ice cream, these things are not really doing much for us. You know, let's reevaluate here. So something I wanna show you is how to evaluate like how much are my jokers worth? How much are my jokers doing for me? How much is Wily Joker doing for me? Is it better to replace Wily Joker with plus 11 molt, for example? How do I evaluate that? Well, if I go to my full house, full house is currently giving me 240 times 20. Um, if you add, let's say another 30 chips from cards, this is 270, 270 times 20. And so a couple things are happening. One, we have plus 20 molt from Steven. So Steven is currently a times two. And then polychrome is another 50% on top of that. So times two times 1.5 is, Steven is acting as a times three joker. Okay. Now, if my base chips are 270, then the Wily Joker, 100 chips out of 270, that's like a little bit more than a third, right? So this is like, you know, maybe, times 1.4 maybe this is plus 40 percent on top of what i currently have this is way weaker than the three times that this is doing this is way weaker than the times two that this is doing and so you know wily joke is very replaceable and then also okay after steven gives me the uh 20 molt and we go up to 40 then this plus 11 is nothing in comparison and so you know demonstrating here when we have the higher planet levels oftentimes now the chip strokers don't matter anymore because we have so many chips coming from just the base here and so this is something that we want to replace or something that we could replace if we get any joker that gives us at least 50 percent scoring that 50 percent is better than what the wily joker is doing and in general in general in your end game you're probably replacing your chips jokers All right, do I want an extra six that's gold? Mm, if I had five sixes, I could consider taking a sixth, but as it stands, nope, maybe just eights. Mm, fours, I do have five fours. I think we don't need that either, skip. You know, we haven't seen this polychrome eight in a while and that's because we got, we got dang 55 cards in the deck that's a lot of cards in the deck we haven't hit any card removal yet all right so here blue joker you know weaker than wily joker astronomer as another value generator money generator makes booster packs free i think this is super powerful and that's why it's uncommon it's so powerful um maybe even more powerful than the faceless joker because this also makes the you know planet cards free and then we can use the planet cards to level up our constellation all right i think i'm into that i think i'm into let's get rid of faceless joker and let's take this uh astronomer here and then now i don't have to worry about face cards anymore it's a little bit easier for me to play so let's discard just whatever right uh i'm just looking for my eights fancy eights uh there's a 10 so you know if i want i could play this full house here let's keep digging we could do better let's look for our eights and more gold cards potentially so there's one eight let's 
I'm gonna say, let's look for, we're out of sixes. We just have the one more six. So maybe we'll throw like this. Let's throw like this and then try to hit the eights. Or maybe I'll just do this. One eight. Uh, we have two discards. If I have two discards, I can hit two more eights. There we go. And we'll go one more time looking for a gold card. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. I could do this. So polychrome on the right and then ship it. All right, what's the status on York? Seven discards left. All right, fool copying Saturn is not what I want. Um, I can go wheel, I can go Neptune and then buy the Saturn, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Or sorry, buy the fool, but hold on to it. Cause I know the next time I hit a celestial pack, it's guaranteed earth. Uh, maybe buffoon, maybe I could find something useful here. All right, uh, I think too late for all of these things, right? So we'll skip standard pack, mm, mega standard. I'm not interested in spending $8 on. I'll reroll one more time looking for an earth card. Tribe is not what we're doing. Magician is probably not what we're doing. Though, you know, I could do this, use the planet card and then buy the Magician. All right, decrease level of poker hand, meaning I'm gonna try to find, I need not just any full house, but I need kind of a good quality full house. Um, so maybe with the fours could be good, good quality. How about this? I already have these sixes, right? Cause I got the gold six that I can hold on to. Uh, let's try again looking for more eights. The eights are the, the powerful ones. Maybe since I have the sixes, I'm gonna throw away the, wait, I don't need to. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so we got the eights. We can discard one more time. Huh, that's okay. Let's try again. All right, we do have the sixes. Could be going better. Is this gonna take, is this gonna take two full houses? Hmm, that's kind of what it's looking like to me. It's a little bit disappointing because then we're gonna get D-leveled twice. All right, let's get lucky here. We did. Nice. If we didn't get the plus 20 molt, if we didn't get lucky there, we wouldn't have gotten it. Hmm. Still no earth card. Still no celestial pack. We'll go Arcana. All right, something that you could think about, we're in anti-8 now. Um, for the final boss, you know, sometimes, you know, let's say you're playing on higher stakes or whatever, and you've got the higher scoring requirements or maybe I have less jokers, you know, maybe I don't have uh, all of this X molt from Yorick or whatever it is. Maybe another way to help you score, to help you beat the final boss is with a glass card. And maybe the way that we do that is I could put it on a 10 here and then just discard the 10, save it entirely for the final boss. And then now, you know, the extra glass card from the justice here is better than an extra earth card. So I think, you know, I am gonna do this and I'll do this for the extra glass card, go next. All right, see the violet vessel here, the purple one, 500,000. We were able to hit 100,000. The question is, can we hit 500,000? With Yorick, we can. Without Yorick, maybe we need the glass cards. So 
So let's discard looking for our full house, even cards. Uh, we've got eights. So I said, you know, we got the glass 10 here. I would like to find another 10, but not use it. So I have my eights and I can do this full house. Show me a 10. Can I find a 10? All right, we didn't get the 10, that's okay. We'll go this eight, turn it lucky. Eight, eight, four, ship it. All right, just about 95,000 points there. All right, a little bit late on the eight ball, still no celestial packs. This astronomer is looking very embarrassing. All right, Arcana pack. So for the purposes of beating the final boss, I think I want to do this. I think I want to go fancy with the eight, the polychrome eight. Maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe I hold on to this. Do I want strength turning fives into sixes could help it make it easier for us to get our full houses. Or do I want the 20 bucks? Do I want the planet cards from the priestess? Is that gonna be better than 20 bucks? Let's turn this 10 into glass while we have it, while we have the opportunity. All right, now, which of these do I want? Um, I don't need the strength. I don't need the help making full houses. So that's off the table. Do I want the money? which I'll just spend on rerolls. And after I reroll, what am I gonna do with my rerolls? I'm gonna buy planets, or do we just get the guaranteed planets? I think because I have the constellation, well, I have the astronomer anyway, I'm just gonna take the money. I do have an extra joker slot, so I could try to find an extra joker. Earth card is perfect. Just gonna use it. Uh, walkie talkie, I mean, okay. I mean, we just sell it, right? Four of a kind, no. Hangman, where were you 10 years ago? All right, so tens we discard, aces we remove entirely. By the way, if I remove those two aces, and then now if I discard these five cards, I get to redraw seven cards. All right, we're gonna keep throwing away the tens and look for fancy eights. There's an eight, there's a four. All right, uh, I need clubs, right? I have one six of clubs, I have two fours of clubs. So show me clubs. Hmm. I want to keep holding this 10 for the boss. So if I play like this, if I play like this, I can get rid of the glass card. It won't score, so it won't break. And then, kind of awkward. I don't have the times two from the constellation, or sorry, from the seeing double. Do I want to use the jacks as part of this full house? If this is not enough points, is there some other way that I can score enough points? This should be fine. Hmm. All right, here's another of the same flavor full house. So, you know, we've demonstrated here you know, not having the even cards was kind of brutal there. Or actually, yeah. All right, here we go. And we get the fours for the walkie-talkie. Cool. All right, so some things I'm interested in doing. Um, I want to replace this astronomer. I want to replace the Wily Joker. Wily Joker is not really doing anything for us anymore. Celestial Pack's guaranteed to give me Earth. 
uh, Arcana Pack has a chance to give me a fool. If not a fool, let's use the Priestess. All right, if I hold on to these planet cards, there's no duplicates of these. So let's reroll looking for earth cards or another justice card for another glass. Um, Raise Fist is worse than Wily Joker. These planets are free. Uranus also free. Earth is what we want. Uh, one more reroll. I could just go ahead and take the 50 chips Sly Joker. I don't think that's really going to matter. So let's go next. This doesn't really matter either. So a little bit disappointed that we weren't able to replace the Astronomer, but we will be fine. All right, so some options. One option, we can play two hands. Since I have my fancy eight, I don't think I need to play two hands. Let's go all in looking for our glass tens. There's a glass 10. That might be enough already. Let's look for another one. Yeah. All right, is that all the glass we got? Uh, we do have a polychrome eight if we want to keep digging. Maybe like this, maybe like this. Get the polychrome eight. If not, that's perfectly fine. So here we've got the eights and we've got the tens here. So we'll put the X molt on the right. We got the extra chips from the uh, bonus card here. This should be plenty. 500,000 points, one shot. Yeah, actually one and a half million points. All right, I don't know, did we learn anything? I don't know, what I was trying to think about, what I was trying to focus on was, you know, the deck building aspect, though we didn't necessarily get a whole lot of materials to deck build with. Um, we did get a decent amount of money, and so we got to think about, you know, how to manage our booster packs and, you know, potentially purchase different jokers and stuff like that um anyway if, if you were wondering you know kind of what does a winning hand look like what does a winning build look like you want to have enough planet cards um here we got the telescope voucher which gave us access to a lot of extra planet cards a lot of extra earth cards you don't necessarily need all of that much every time um you know maybe level eight or level nine is perfectly fine and the way that you get there is by managing your money so that you have enough money to reroll and then find those planet cards. Uh, remember, there's no duplicates that can show up that applies to both uh, planet cards and tarot cards. And so I will often hold on to planet cards just to block the duplicates. And if there's only nine planets and you eliminate two of them, then that greatly increases the chances of you finding what you're looking for. Um, as far as like a winning build, you know, we've got Constellation giving us about times 2.5. We've got the Seeing Double giving us times 2. And then, you know, the more powerful Jokers are going to be the ones that give you the plus molt on scoring. So like even Steven giving us plus 4 molt on scoring. Uh, the Walkie Talkie is good if you're playing 10s and 4s or if you're playing 4 of a kind. But, you know, it's a common joker, so don't, don't expect it to be, like, super powerful necessarily. Probably, if we had a lower level full house, you know, we're not going to hit the one and a half million points. And so also think about glass cards. The way that I like to use them is buy them early and often, but then don't use them. Just make a glass card and just always discard it. And then on the final round, you can always dig for the cards that you're looking for. You can dig for those glass cards. Or you can also hold on to a, a justice card, hold on to tarot cards, and then that way in the final encounter, wait until you need it, and then use your justice card, use your death card, um, and then create the final hand on the spot. 
Anyway, that's gonna be it for this installment of Bellatro Basics. Uh, I will do more of these. What I don't know yet is what the lesson plan is gonna be. You know, tell me in the comments uh, stuff that you wanna learn more about. Otherwise, take care everyone.